So in this demonstration, we're going to show you how to attach the rotor of your helicopter to the um, support frame, the, or the fuselage as we'll call it. Uh, um, in the last demonstration, we showed you how to make your, um, your rubber band hook and axle and um, how to cut your tubing that the axle goes through. Uh, um, what you'll need first is you'll need to make your, your frame. Um, we recommend the, the dual um, support frame here because it keeps it balanced as the helicopter is rotating. You'll also need a drill bit that's about the same size as your, your aluminum or brass tubing uh, that you will put in your support beam. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this. I recommend putting your drill bit into an X-Acto knife holder. Uh, you don't want to use a real drill because they have too much power and they can actually break your support beam here as you're working on it. Uh, what you'll do is you'll mark the center as I did there. You can see I made a little scratch where the center is. And then you take your drill bit and just twist slowly. You don't want to push too hard, but you just want to keep pressure applied. You'll keep twisting. This may take a little bit, that's okay. until you're all the way through. I do recommend um, maybe taking some lighter balsa and just kind of going over and gluing some, some strips on the outside of where your axle goes through to help thicken that up uh, because this thickness here is very close to the same thickness as my, as my top support there. Next, you'll take your tubing and slide that in there. And then I recommend leaving a little on top and a little on bottom. When you cut your tubing, you want to make sure you cut it to, to the right size because uh, it's easier to cut it before you put it in there. So now that it's in there, you want to take some CA glue. And hopefully this glue will come out. I'm going to test it here and see. Oh, good. It's coming out. And you want to put it around the outside, just a dab on the outside on the top and the bottom, it's very important that you do not get any super glue inside your tube. If you do, it will gum up and you won't be able to get it out of there. You'll just have to scratch that tube and, and replace it. Um, if you get glue inside the tube, it can honestly ruin this whole support structure because once the tube is glued inside there, it's, it's almost impossible to get it out. So be very careful with your super glue when you're gluing around that. That'll keep your tube inside the wood there, that's very good. Now, what I recommend doing is before you um, do anything else, this is going to be the axle that I attach my wings to, my rotors to. Normally, I would have already attached the rotors to this, but I don't have any rotors right now, so, so we will use this as a demonstration, this piece of wood. So imagine that there are two, uh, two blades on either side of this. Um, you'll mark the middle, and you'll take your, your axle here, and you'll slowly punch a hole in your um, piece of wood like this. Okay. Now it's important that you try and get this as straight and as square as possible so that your blades are at the same angle when you attach those. Okay. Then your axle goes through your aluminum tube now, normally I would put some, um, some small metal bushings or some, some a bead right here uh, just to act as a, a buffer and let the, uh, the rotor turn a little more smoothly. Once you have that out, push it all the way through like this, like so. And then you're going to bend the tip just a little bit. And then you're going to bend it again. So you have this kind of seven shape. Okay. What this is for is so when your rubber band is on your 
on your device, it catches the wood and turns it, like so. Okay? This is very important. Again, you see my axle is very long. That's okay. That's not a big deal. I also, once you have that on there, recommend gluing it. Just a little bit of glue right there will do. You want to use some accelerator to make that dry a little bit more quickly. That's all it takes, a little bit of that super glue and that's dry. And that is how you attach your, uh, your rotor to your support, to your fuselage there.